Hey YouTube, um, let's see here, I thought I'd talk about my mornings, since uh, it's really the morning schedule that I have that sort of um, started this whole, this whole channel, started this whole, uh, my whole morning show really. Uh, you know, I, I wake up at, at 4, roll out of bed, uh, and come in here to, to record. Um, and I, I wake up at 4 so that I can leave my house at 5 and uh, my commute is between 5 and 6. Um, you know, the traffic here is such that if I'm out the door much after 5, my one hour commute turns into an hour and a half or so. Uh, so I really do need to get out the door at 5. Um, I live about 45 miles away from work. Uh, and I go north, and I go over downtown, uh, and so because of the traffic dynamics, I, there are several points along the way where I hit congestion, um, just because everyone's going everywhere. You know, you've got major thoroughfares like I-5 um, and uh, 101, which is also considered uh, Pacific Coast Highway up here, and you know, those are your north-south thoroughfares, and people jump back and forth depending. You know, if there's traffic on one, they go to the other. If there's traffic on the other, they go to the other. And it, it's all just crazy. So I, I have to get up at 4, leave my house at 5, so that I can get to work at 6. Um, you know, but I'm still, you know, so it, it's a one-hour duration, which grows if, if, it's, if I'm late at all. Uh, and it's, it is early in the morning. And so to combat that, you know, I... I'm always tired, <laughs> uh, which is great for the show. You know, tiredness is how the, this show functions, but uh, being tired on the road is not necessarily a healthy combination. So to battle that, I've got two things that um, in my arsenal uh, that I use to, to battle that tiredness. Um, one is coffee. <laughs> everyone, seems like everyone in the country uses coffee. Uh, everyone drinks coffee. Well, up here in Seattle, this is the land of coffee. We have, uh, you know, Starbucks is up here. Tully's is up here, headquartered here. And, um, yeah, we, we're, we're pretty coffee heavy. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the thing about, so I, I always try and, and get to the small guy. Um, I don't like necessarily, you know, buying from, from major, major brands and, large chains and so I try and keep to to the uh, to the grassroots little small businesses and I have a friend uh, that owns her own chain of coffee stands and so whenever I go get coffee I try and go to one of her places um, now Seattle is also the land of coffee stands uh, it seems like the market here is saturated with coffee stands uh, and so I'm not sure how my friend has stayed in business, but she's done fairly well. So she started in 2002, uh, with her, with her, uh, brand name. Her brand is, uh, Cowgirls Espresso. And since then, this is what, 2015, so it's about 13 years or so. You know, she, she's, she, her, her empire has, like any, you know, like any empire, she, her empire has grown and shrunk uh and change territories and <laughs> and whatnot and currently she has about 15 stands that span between tacoma and seattle so this this southern end here um and uh like i said it feels like a saturated market but she's been able to 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 keep up with it uh, and she's actually opening up a new stand and so you know she's doing very well um um so yeah, uh, thank you, Lori, for uh, for having your empire uh, along my commute, and so I can get coffee. <laughs> uh, it's uh, keeping me awake. So, and thank you, Megan. For, uh, Megan's my barista. So, uh, let's see here. The other thing that keeps me awake is music. Um, so along on my dial, you know, I've got uh, along my radio dial, I've got six different channels that I just sort of, you know, flow through. 
two rock stations, four dance music stations, and just I just kind of route through them. Uh, but one station in particular is is probably my favorite because you know the others they're part of a chain they're part of a uh, a big radio family and so they have to do their whole advertising thing and it, it just feels like God the, people are talking all the time I just want to listen to music uh, well C eighty nine point five which is a radio station that I talked about in a previous uh, previous episode. You know, they're an independent radio station, so they don't have to do all the ads that all the, the major radio stations has to do. They, they tend to play a lot more music than have people talking all the time. Uh, so I end up listening to them quite a bit. And, you know, they, they play electronic dance music, which I like. Um, and when I'm half asleep, it's kind of... It, it, you know, it, it helps with staying awake, along with the coffee. Um, C89.5, like I said before, they're, as an independent, they, they also concentrate on, um, getting high school kids in there to, to practice, uh, radio. It's, you know, it's sort of like a Votech option for, for high school students, uh, see if they like radio, see if they like programming, uh, producing shows, um, give them some business skills type of thing. So, so I, I try to support them as well and, um. I think it's a great, you know, it's a great entity, it's a great idea, and it's a great way to give back. And, you know, the little guy, the independent, the, the small business, they're grassroots, and they, they try to give back to the community. So I think it's, you know, a good idea to to support them. Um, so those are my two two things. I get into work at 6, and, and you know, my day, my day starts. But there you have it. That's my morning, uh, and that's sort of the... And that's sort of the result of, well, it's a result of, of where I work. I have to do it. And so, but the impacts there, that, that's how our, my show is affected. And this early morning babbling of stuff. So I thought I'd talk about it a little bit, uh, shed some light on what goes on here in the morning, what goes on here in the morning, which isn't much. So there you go. Thanks for listening to me babble.